Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a vlog on the latest travel news worldwide part two. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to breakingtravelnews.com, I've got nine fabulous facts. So let's fire away with number one uh, which is um, airbnb seeks 35 billion dollars evaluation for the stock market flotation and um, that's the latest hotel news so airbnb is hoping to raise 2.5 billion dollars in a long-awaited initial uh, public offering the rental company has uh tried going public earlier in the year but um the plans uh, were derailed because of the COVID-19 pandemic unfortunately but the good news is uh, they're going forward and um, they're hoping to raise uh, 2.5 billion dollars so so I hope it goes as well as possible for them number two Hyatt Regency London Olympia takes shape that's again uh, the latest hotel news Hyatt has entered into a management agreement with an inflated of Olympus property uh, to develop a new high regency hotel in London so it's really good news for uh, London the U uh, UK and um, because high at the hotel company are looking to uh, develop a new hotel so again I hope that goes as well as possible and um, helps tourism in the UK as much as possible so moving on to number three uh swartaz excuse my pronunciation appointed the president of holland america group that's the latest again cruise news jan squirt uh, excuse my pronunciation again uh, will be responsible for princess uh, cruises holland america line and seaborne and piano australia as well as holland america princess alaska tours and um, intergroup operations so i really hope um, it goes well as well as possible for that um, person and um at those companies so um especially next year and um, number four at uh, lifluenza um group waves booking fees that's again the latest airline news uh british airways waves farewell to boeing 747 jumbo jets so that's really unfortunate i hope they get it the 747s jumbo jets um back um, in the future or or um get something um equally or better um as airlines but um so hopefully um in the future fingers crossed um they'll get uh, better airlines but um moving on um number six um isn't good news for passengers easyjet um is to charge for overhead locker space 
that's the, the latest airline news and um, I personally don't agree with that um, customers are paying a, a fee but have to pay extra if they want to have a locker space um, but again we'll have to see how it all works out for EasyJet hopefully it works to their advantage and um, by doing that I personally don't think it will but um, in my opinion but um, hopefully it does um, number seven uh, Dunsit Sai Lugunga Singapore uh, to open this week and um, that's the latest hotel news and um, again um, I wish uh, Dunsit Sai Eni Lungunda Singapore the best of luck um, and I hope it draws um, tourists to the region and number eight for Stand Mia recognised for contribution to Jamaica tourism that's the latest hotel news so that's really good news for that hotel and Jamaica hotel chain and Jamaica and uh, last but not least uh, Rodriguez uh, takes up European leadership uh, role uh, for Singapore Tourism Board so really good and um, wish Rodriguez the best of luck so thank you for watching and um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you press the red and white subscribe button and, and the notification bell it'll um, basically give you every vlog that I upload I upload at least uh, four to six times a week at the moment it's five times so um, again thank you for watching and um, I would like to say bye for now and uh, tomorrow um, is uh, going to be uh, basically the latest UK d uh, destinations um, next year upcoming so um, please keep watching for that and uh, bye for now thank you bye and see you tomorrow thank you bye